The Decatur School District also going remote, and because of that, they're canceling sports until they're back in school. They say it doesn't make sense to play without meeting for class, even though the IHSA says they could have. WCI3's Andy Olson live in our newsroom. So, Andy, why did they go this route if they were still able to play? Jennifer, the athletic coordinator for the district, says bringing kids together after school while they can't meet during school didn't make any sense to them. It was a hard decision for them to make, but one they think is in the best interest of their students. Decatur Public Schools announced at the end of July it was going completely virtual this school year for the health and safety of its staff and students. Athletic coordinator Joe Caputo says if they can't meet in class, they can't meet anywhere. If they weren't comfortable with doing that, but they wanted to participate in some type of after school athletics, the answer was going to be no. That means golf, tennis, and cross country athletes there will have to miss out on their seasons. For seniors, their time as a high school athlete may be done. I was really preparing for this year. Like right as track season got over, I was running every day six miles. And I was really prepared, yeah. It's a little disappointing, but. I mean, safety comes first. Caputo says Decatur is the only district he knows of that has decided to cancel sports until they're back in class. Right now, virtual learning is going through the end of the first quarter, October 9th. Caputo knows they made the right decision, but it doesn't make it any easier on coaches, athletes, or himself. For a lot of them, you know, this is going to be it. And so when you talk with those kids, when you see them, and you have those conversations, it, it just really breaks your heart. There is some room for hope, though. If Decatur returns to class for the second quarter, there's a small window where some high school sports could play some games and matches, which still could mean a good ending for Decatur seniors. Sounds like maybe we'll have regionals, and so, the, yeah, maybe like one, like, last, the first and last run of senior year, that would be cool. Decatur schools have already heard from cross-country officials. They would be able to join the season if they return to the classroom before the end of the fall season. They're still waiting to hear if golf and tennis would be able to do the same. Live in the newsroom, Andy Olson, WCIA3, your local news leader. Thank you so much, Andy. Such disappointment for those kids. But there's no chance junior high sports in the Decatur District are a go later in the fall. The IESA has end dates set for baseball, softball, and cross country before Decatur schools would return to class. That means they won't be able to play fall sports this year.